All right. Two. Talon magazines. Same amount of darts in them, right? Oh, oh, oh. As you can see, when the lever goes down, it is connected to the magwell and turn around and plunger and barrel. So the barrel is going out and out tip. And it's connected on both sides. So there's this blue bar on this side, this blue bar on this side. It's connected. So it pivots like that. Trigger is in the uh, hand guard. Like that. And then the plunger rod sticks out the front, so when you fire, you can see, there it goes. Uh, and on the bar it says armed, armed, uh, like the pre-recall uh, recons, the uh, plunger on those stuck out the back and said armed on it. Uh, before they recalled them because they would rip off people's skin or something. So, uh, a minute ago I just recorded some chronographing footage over there, and I'm going to splice that to the end of this, uh, but this, without a scar, is hitting like 175, 180, and then with a scar it's hitting like 150-ish. So right now, this is the first prototype. I haven't I haven't printed any any others of these, and I just assembled this like 20 minutes ago. Um, right now, the mag lips, uh, the lips of the mag right here, are rubbing up against these side panels. These side panels, uh, the the big ones um, in there. So it primes really easily without a magnet. Primes really smoothly and easily, as you can see. But once you put a magazine in it, the prime becomes much harder. And it's not because the spring is hard to prime, it's because it's rubbing with the mag uh, feed lips. As you can see, there's the mag feed lips there. And then when I try to close it, it's hitting up against that panel right there on both sides. So. It's not the best, but it's still really fun. Um, that's also why the magwell is very tight right now. It's because it's squeezing, squeezing the feed lips on these on these uh, plates right here. So once I add relief to those side plates, then this would be nice and smooth. But right now you need to kind of jam it in there, unless you have it Fords. Because if you have it Fords, then it's not, it's not in the side panels. It's just chilling there. I need to add a dart guide to the top of this, um, so it can't keep going in too far. Um, I just realized I was making that loud sound while I was saying uh, So it can't go up too far. I need that dart guide so it doesn't do this. Um, I need to make the foregrip sit a bit more flush on the sides. You can see it's kind of peeling out from the sides there because it's uh, squished by the screw heads that are under it holding these bars in place. They're kind of proud off of the bar, so it's kind of bending this up. Um, screws right here are a little bit proud, so I'm going to recess those a bit more. Yeah. I have a list of stuff that I need to fix, but it's all pretty small, so this is, like, really good. Oops, dry fire. So this is going to be better once I get uh, a stock on it. You can probably hear the printer over there, it's like a low hum 
Uh, hope that the video doesn't pick it up. It probably will. The printer is over there printing uh, the stock. So there's there's one. Uh, there's two middle pieces of the stock. As you can see, the stock is there's this blue piece, and then there's two panels on each side. There's two more middle sections, and then there's four more side panels. Two more on each side that need to print. And I already have the butt plate left over uh, from the previous silly, or uh, the previous blaster that was named Slab, but it's not the same as this blaster, it just had the same stock, or close enough stock to be interchangeable. I have a previous video on that, but uh. It's so fun. Um, you cannot do the uh, flick like you can with the... Uh, with the sling of fire. You can't do the... Uh, can't do that. Because the sling fire, the lever pivot is like right here. And it makes a circle with that uh, movement. And it's geared, so it's much easier and lighter problem. And of course it's a lower power, so of course it's going to be an easier time since it's lower power. But with this, since the pivot is up here, up here, as opposed to like right here, you can't do the flick because the center of mass is much higher up and it doesn't have enough force either to do that flipping motion. Uh, you can still do the mag lips got stuck. Uh, I bet that you can still do like the Terminator thing where you kind of flip it down. I forgot how to do it. You know what? Let's try it out with the sling fire. You go down, you come around like that. Alright, I bet I can do that. So it goes down. Kinda. Because the mag lips are rubbing up against this, it doesn't have that smooth final, like, chambering. Like, it's smooth up until there, and then it gets, like, gritty because of the mag lips. So in order to do a full Terminator, it kind of gets stuck there. Then you need to squeeze it the last time. Yeah. Uh, this is the slab, Silly's so Lever Action Blaster. And I'm very happy with it. Uh, yeah. Have a nice day. All right. Testing the lever action. Alright. Now how does it do without a scope? Tell you in a moment. Scar is now no longer. Uh, good, still have darts. So this is like a 4 inch piece of K25, and the barrel is one of the Kuryaka ones, one moment. to 
to grab my tape measure. Barrel is what? 12 inches. 12 inch barrel. So it's a 12 inch barrel, a uh, 12 inch Kriyaka barrel uh, with a 4 inches of K25. Neat! So I bet that with a SF25 and a normal barrel, easily over 200, just like the silly pistol. Very nice.